Hi, it's Fajal here again and uh, today we are going to discuss how to use YouTube video as a background of a section, uh, row, uh, etc. As you know that DV doesn't support uh, third party videos like YouTube, Vimeo, etc. as the background of uh, a section or row. Uh, and uh, we are forced to use uh, something like self-hosted videos and it is not uh, easy to uh, use self-hosted videos as they can take uh, a lot of bandwidth uh, especially if you are on a shared web hosting um, so uh, it is a good choice to use uh, youtube video as a background of a section or row uh, so in this video uh, I'm using uh, this video as the <coughs> um, background of a section uh, and I'll be using iframe code and uh, some parameters from the YouTube uh, to, uh, to integrate it as the background of a section okay let's get started with the procedure uh, before we continue uh, please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon as well so that you can get more updates from me in the future okay and to get the embed code uh, we we'll use share button embed and copy code um, somewhere uh, for example, for the purpose of this video, I'm using a text file. Okay, and here are the some parameters I will be using in this uh, uh, video. Uh, for example, autoplay so that video is autoplayed uh, when the page loads, and then we're using these parameters like playlist and loop so that uh, video keeps looping and uh, uh, when video is looping we will uh, we will be able to uh, skip the related uh, ads as well <coughs> uh, and then there are uh, some other parameters like uh, control uh, so that uh, the controls like play power button etc doesn't display on the video You can learn more about these parameters uh, from this page. You can also search it on Google, for example, uh, YouTube Parents, and you can learn more about uh, these parameters. Uh, I am also going to provide you with uh, uh, this line of code uh, in the description of the video, uh, so you can easily copy that from my description as well okay uh, let's move on and we can use uh, these parameters uh, find the source attribute here and at the end of that attribute uh, join the string like this Okay, we copy and paste the string at the end of our URL. Okay, uh, it's looking good now. Uh, let's copy this line of uh, iframe code. And uh, I will create a new row. And then I'll choose a code module. Okay, and uh, uh, let's make it full width. Uh, I have given a specific height to section. Uh, that's why it's overflowing right now, but we are going to adjust its position later. Uh, you will see what happens. Okay. From the design tab, we will uh, set the sizing to 100% and um, maximum width to 100%. Okay, and uh, 
then we're going to use a position option we'll be using absolute position and then we'll be using z index uh, we will set it to minus one so that it is at the uh, background of end contents uh, okay uh, so it's uh, behind our section but we will have to uh, use a background transparent color background color as well okay uh, I'm seeing a little white space at, at the top and uh, uh, it is coming from the padding I think yep okay uh, we are all set now as uh, you can see that I am able to use uh, this uh, YouTube video as the background and then we can uh, add uh, more contents as we like mm -hmm. okay Just playing around with the contents to make something. <laughs> yeah, uh, as you can see, that I'm easily able to add any contents on the top of the video. And uh, let's save the page and to see how it goes on the front end. Okay. Here you go. Yeah, the only thing uh, we can't prevent is that when video plays, we will see the title at the top of the uh, of the video, and then it goes away. Um, but I'm not able to find any parameter uh, that help us prevent this uh, title. Previously, YouTube used to support this parameter. Uh, call show info but they are not supporting it anymore uh, let's find it and, uh, yeah they have deprecated it in, in uh, 2020 okay here is the final result and uh, we have used uh, the youtube video as the background and saved a lot of uh, our bandwidth uh, uh, sorry i forget to mention one thing uh, when you got your uh, iframe code you can see that uh, there is uh, a video id in it uh, this is the video id and i'm using the same video id in the uh, parameters in front of playlist okay uh, so don't forget to change that in uh, uh, your integration for example uh, if we will be using any other video for example if i'm using this video then i will copy it from uh, this uh, url and then i will replace it here and i will replace it here as well okay and that was a missing part uh, i think we are all done now <coughs> so uh, that's all from me don't forget to subscribe and press the um, bell icon to get more uh, useful videos from me have a good day bye